Hi, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. We're going to have fun tonight. We are going to have fun tonight. We are so raising the vibration. We are so raising this vibration, I'm telling you. I want to lift everybody up because a lot of you are all in a funk. But when we come here, we raise the vibration together. That's what we do. We raise the vibration together. Raise your vibration. <laughs> Tonight, I'm using, I have a favorite new, um, well, I have a favorite artist uh, on the decks. That I've talked about her before. Hi, everybody. Come on in. Come on into the room. Her name is Katrin Waltz Stein, I think. Ooh, what if I'm getting it wrong, but I don't want to get up and go look. She's all everywhere around my Instagram. So I'm using, not, I'm using her Oracle deck today, not the tarot. I love the tarot. I love the pictures in it, but I have big hands. You know what they say, big hands? big deck. So that's it. Um, and I'm going to shuffle and take questions here. Hi, A.Nor. Oh, I like to look who's in here because it goes so fast. And then I miss some of you. If you don't get a question answered, you can always come back. I'm here most Mondays. You can see me for uh, 15 minutes. You can also uh, try to get your questions and eventually I'll pick you. And then, <laughs> you like that, right? Big hands, big deck. Um, and uh, you can also book a session with me through my website and I do events. I've been doing so many events because people are coming out as long as you're fully vaccinated and masked or at least masked and pass that test. Okay, so if you asked a question last week, try to refrain this week. So, hey Beach NG, I haven't seen you around. Can I pull a love card for you? Yeah, okay. Oh, there's so many questions in here about healing and love i love that i want you guys to do this this week i want to do a i want to practice something because i love when you come in and we raise this vibration like i said together so what this is about is giving just be love instead of saying i want to be loved you be love and watch who's going to love you back now i'm going to pull a card for oh gosh where'd you go beach i'm going to pull a love where are you you beach <laughs> beach Angie. My biatches are here. Okay, I'm gonna pull a love card for you. Everybody focus on Beach NG. Oh, thank you, thank you. You love, isn't it a pretty cup? It was actually a gift. Oh, there's lipstick all over it. I wanna clean it up. I know who made it and we'll see if he shows up today. This is for you for love. You know how some people say, I love you to the moon and back? Look at the card that you got, to the moon and back. So my card for you is exactly what I said. It's exactly what I've been saying. Just be loving. Be loving to the moon and back. And when I see the moon, I think of a delay. And I think, oh, your love may be delayed, but you just keep going out there and you keep loving. That's it. That's kind of general, isn't it? You wanted something more specific, but that's all I got for you today. Okay, so sometimes it's not super specific and sometimes it is. It depends, right? Um, okay. Mothers into living fit. Can you pull a card for me on my new book? Are you a mother who's into living fit? Because for me, nothing fits after the pandemic. I'm like, I'm into mothers that nothing fits for like since I gave birth, like over 30 years ago. Okay. I never gotten rid of the baby fat in seven years. Okay. What about your book, Mothers into Living Fit? Here we go. Ooh, weaving flowers. I like that. You know what I see? I see this book and then I see it leading to another book and another book because it's like weaving from one story to the next. And what I really see, oh my God, I have a whole vision for you, which is weaving flowers made me think of book covers. When I was a kid, remember you had to get your books covered and maybe you should have some special book cover that actually goes like around the book that makes it special, that makes it stick out. The other thing is you're being spiritually assisted in this because I see, I just see flowers around it. It's like grandmother energy, great, great grandmother, ancestral energy. So I think your book's gonna come out and I think I think it's fabulous and send it to me, I wanna read it. Let's see if, I, if, if we can get this fit, whoa. If I don't have to wait till hashtag future life progression, amazing, okay. So let's take another question. I put my Venmo up there. If I answer a question for you and you like it today, just drop something in there. Okay, A's at 9735. 
I have a dilemma whether to quit my job next year and get into business. And you feel the, the universe has a message for you in general. If you can feel it, you can get it. All you have to do is you go like this. You ask, you listen, you say yes, and you do it. That's my motto. Ask, listen, say yes, and do it. So should you quit your job and get into business? Hmm, let's see. Lorelei, oh. Lorelei, wasn't that the temptress on the rocks and everybody came and that's kind of isolated. Actually, I don't know if you should quit your job yet. I don't want you to do that until you figure out what your other business is because I feel that that could be isolating for you. And I think that the general message that the universe has for you would apply to everybody in this room today, which is not to isolate and to connect because we all feel a little bit disconnected. We're all feeling a little bit disconnected, right? Put a heart there if you agree with me. So for me, it's like, don't quit that. I know. I always say don't quit a job unless you can totally afford to. And for you, I'm overthinking it because I should be on to the next question. So when you're overthinking something, sit back, take a walk in nature, hug a tree and the answer will come to you. Eventually you're going to have your own business and you'll be really good at it. Like you'll be really, you know, you will do really well. Um, Samantha Bento. Oh, I love you so much. I love you guys so much. Can you pull a card for me on whatever comes to you? So, you know, what came to me in that moment of silence was take a breath, breathe. And this is what's coming to me is take a breath, breathe. This is what's coming. And when I get very, I get very purposeful. You have great purpose, Samantha. I can feel it. Oh my God, what are the odds of all the cards that I have weaving flowers here? This is crazy. Weaving flowers, that's a, that came up for my book lady. Maybe you're gonna write a book too. That was Mothers Into Living Fit. Stop and smell the roses, but don't get too close or you'll scratch your nose on a thorn. That just came to me, that's so clever. Laugh, that's what you need to do, you need to laugh. Are you, I see you going out on a date. I don't know, I just saw somebody picking you up and bringing you like those flowers or something. That's what, that's what comes to me is like, ooh, who's coming into your life? Okay, let's go take another question from somebody we've never seen here. I'm going to look for somebody. Audrey L. Helm, I've never seen you. Can I pull a card of healing for you? Yes. We, do you know how I heal? I heal through laughter. I think laughter is the greatest way to heal. Okay, so I'm going to pull for you, Audrey L. Helm. A card of healing. Ooh, more flowers. Change of seasons. You know what I see when I look at this beautiful card, the change of seasons? What I see with that is that seasonal allergies, like do you have allergies or something like that? I see the change of seasons and I see, I see going through different things in your life. And I see that one, like you might like summer more than spring. Although with you, I get spring. I get hope springs eternal. <gasps> I get that you're an optimist. I get that you're an optimist. Well, all the optimists in the room, please press the button for all the hearts to come up. I love that. Let's get some hearts of healing in here. So this to me is like, healing energy swirling around you that we're sending to you right now, Audrey L. Helm for whatever, and to everybody in here who's feeling like a little emotional deficit or something going on physically, we want this to swirl because the seasons, the seasons bring changes. Ooh, I wanted to say the changes bring seasons. Change is good, change is good, and sometimes the way to heal is to allow your body to change and shift. I don't know anything, I don't know the meaning of anything I just said, it came as a download for you, Audrey. So God bless, and you're gonna be you're gonna be well. That's healing because I'm just like, oh my God, you've got a lot of you. Get, there's a lot of this kind of energy around you. It's fantastic. You guys are the best. Okay, Hawks Hawks Simple Reality Shifter. Well, I shift reality soon. We're just shifting realities here, left and right. Change of seasons and whoa, weaving flowers. I see a lot of changes. <gasps> Will I shift reality soon? Oh my God, look what I just got in your voice. Do you talk a lot or something? I'm losing my voice a little, but not really. I'm talking really fast. You're moving at a speed of, you're moving at the speed of light because I just started talking really fast. Will I shift reality soon? Under my umbrella, look at that. Look at, you're going straight up to the moon. <laughs> yes, you're shifting realities. Be prepared. That character is like a big red bird. It makes me think of grounding. Like you're very grounded and you're ready to take off like a rocket. You're shifting realities. <gasps> I just heard something for you in, the, in May, May of next year. Something's happening, May of next year. I just heard it. 
keep me posted. Well, of course, May is good. We'll see what's going to happen for you in May. I don't know if that month means anything. It's kind of Taurus energy, isn't it? Like bull. It's like, this isn't bull. This is great. Red Bull. Oh my God. You know, you shift realities much faster when you drink Red Bull. That's what I found. I did a show. I was on Deal or No Deal a million years ago, and they gave me so much Red Bull to drink, so I'd be so hyped. It was like crazy. Okay, that's another story. I'm saving that for my autobiography called You Can't Believe, like, You Can't Make This Shit Up. Okay, so, okay, there you go. Um, oh, good. I'm glad you guys like this. Um, let me go to another question. Secrets of Beauty. Finally, I can join you. Thank you. These cards are by Katrin Waldstein. I'll put up a little... Um, thing. I think it's, I, I don't know the name of the deck. I can't, because I'm too much in this moment. I can't think of it. Um, Shruti Subaya. Hi, Shirley. Can you tell me when I would get married again? Can I tell you when? No, I can't tell you when you get married again. Like, that's like up to you, isn't it? That's based on your choices of life. But I'll take a look. Like a bird. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Like a bird. You know what? Like a bird is fly, fly free. You don't need to be married again, right? You don't need to. If you want to, it's okay. I mean, Stud Muffin and I, I just realized in October, it'll be like 35 years that we met. That's a long time with one person, but I love them to pieces because we shift and we change. You'll get married again if you want to. I'm going to say 2022. How do you like that? It just, when I didn't think about it, it was there. So don't overthink it. Don't over, all of you all listen to me. Don't overthink it. When you don't, when you, when you feel and hear, it's there. 2022, boom, done, that's it. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take some more questions. Um, you, you're asking me the same, oh, oh gosh, I wanna see, I want somebody that I have not had in here before. Um, thank you, Shirley, that's Mama Kim Mimi Boss. A good card for us, me. What is us, me? Is that like she, her, they, them? What is, I don't know what that means. So thank you. You want a card for us and me. Ooh, 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 my hands were shaking. You get nervous, huh? You get really nervous. My hands just went like this. They just, they're going, my hands are going all over. Oh, I can't stop my hands. But what do you do? Are you a hairdresser or something? Or you work with your hands? This makes me feel like Edward Scissorhands, like this. That's how, that was crazy. This is a good card for you. What does this say? Red Garden. Ooh, I love the Red Garden. Oh, you'd be a good, good at, um, fashion, like cutting stuff, you know, like styling. Look at you. Look at how fast you go snipping in the garden, snipping those weeds. <sighs> Red, ground. That's a good card for you. It's good for you to ground because my hands were moving so fast. I just had to take you back a step. Wow. Just breathe. Just breathe. You got some crazy energy. I need to go run with you. Um, Secrets of Beauty, Skin and Bite. And thank you for everybody giving me the Venmo donations. That's really sweet. Thank you. Um, okay, so Secrets of Beauty, Skin, and Body. Can I pull one for you? Yes. Eva. Do you know somebody named Eva? Look at her. You know what you need to do? Secrets of Beauty, Skin, and Body. Do you like old furniture? Like, I just saw that on the card, but I just saw something. And I saw you, like, antiquing or something. Like, going to a place where there's antiques. And then trying out different chairs. <gasps> and then I just went down a wormhole with you with a past life in London. And this is like Mary Queen of Scots time or one of those, like one of those Elizabeths, like the first one or something. And you're like, yes, ma'am, this is the way we do it. Yes, yes. Like deciding things like <gasps> you're in the royal court. I met somebody like that last week I read for who's a member of the royal court. I think all my... All my clients are connected. You guys aren't all my clients, but you kind of are because you come in here to hang out. Okay, so um, I'm, that's what I think. Deb in photography, how are you doing? Secrets, that's your, that is your, if you want to meet somebody, like antique it. You're get, or get around old furniture and listen to it. It's telling you stories and it's got these beautiful colors. And if you're into beauty, which your name implies there, secrets of beauty, skin and body, you could pick up secrets like, what did they do during Queen Victoria's time for makeup? You know, like I wanna bring that back. Like I wanna bring back jewel tones. That's what I wanna do. You're amazing, whoever you are. Thank you so much for coming into this room tonight. Thank you all for coming into this room tonight. I love you so much. Devin, I miss you too. Okay, um, can't suppress Jess. Oh, I just slowed down. I just slowed down in your energy. You would love any messages I have to share. Okay, here's a message for can't suppress Jess. 
Can you hear me? Oh, are you wanting to be heard? Can we hear you? I can hear you. We can't suppress Jess. She needs to be heard. She needs to also to listen. To be heard, you have to listen. Listening is key. This is a very contemplative time for you. I just kind of feel like a grown up all of a sudden. Excuse me Well, I drink my highly caffeinated coffee. Mm. I'm gonna be up all night, I have to watch that because then Stud Muffin's sleeping and, and he's gonna be upset. You are growing up, you're maturing, you're getting to a new place in your life. This is fantastic. I love it, keep it going. Everybody, let's send Can't Suppress Jess lots of hearts, lots of hearts and lots of love. Lots of love to everybody in here. Alicia, 1111, is she the one? Ooh, I like that. I like that. Is she the one? What do you all think? What do all my intuitives in here think? Is she the one? Look at the perfect key. Yes, look, she has the perfect key to your heart. Oh my God, lots of love there, Alicia. Look at that, amazing. She has the perfect key to your heart. This person really knows you. I get the number three around her. I don't know how long you've been with her, but I think that's beautiful. And then I think, this is what I think. If somebody has your heart or if she the one or she's the perfect key, I always like to keep a spare key just in case. Oh my God, you're gonna move in with this person. That's what that key is about, isn't it? Are they gonna live with you? Oh my God, I'm so excited. And did you get your hair cut or something? I see you with like shorter hair or a new do. I'm so happy for this chapter in your life. This is amazing. I'm getting text messages now, um, but you have to um, understand that when I get a text message, that's the energy speaking and saying yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's great. Thank you for the Venmos, everybody. This is really nice because I, um, I use that money for lots of different things. Okay, and, and um, oh my, I have to read this. Oh, I'm seeing all these things that you guys are replying to stuff I've said, and I want to get to one last question. Here's some name I have not seen here before. Onikoko, Onikoko, can I please, can I, can you pull one please for my upcoming move? I had a really hard time reading that. And Oni Coco, I don't know who you are, but I wonder if sometimes you don't read thoroughly. Like, did you, like, you're moving. Did you read the contract thoroughly? Did you read, you need to read things thoroughly and not do things just by the seat of your pants. Do you know what I mean? Because I had a difficult time reading that. But I'm going to look at your upcoming move. Ah, and it looks good because we got the ding. Ooh, bloom, baby. Bloom, look at that. I think this move is going to be great. I think if you have room, if there's a garden there, I think that you should plant lots of beautiful plants that you love that will bring in, because it feels like you're moving to a place that has lots of sunlight. And if you can't do outdoor, like do indoor plants or something, because I feel like that would be really good for you. I'm getting so many um, dings here. Thank you guys so much. Um, but this is about blooming. You're gonna be, where you're going, it's the next step in your move. It's like fantastic. You're going on to your next new. I love it, Oni Coco. but just read things carefully. That's what I want you to promise me. You're gonna read things. <laughs> um, okay, now, <laughs> Don't be sorry you made me feel like a grown-up. You know, I never want to grow up, but I am a grown-up, and it's good to be a grown-up. It's good to be a grown-up and to see the world through child's eyes in this grown-up. It's fine. Don't, never apologize. Don't apologize. Okay, one more. Oh, that was it. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more, though. Um, Jeffrey, Lo Jeffrey Lewis Co Coke, Coaching, do I sense a past life connection between you and Kurt Cobain? Lots of synchronicities. Hey, if you believe it, it's true. Like, so I would say yes, but I'll pull a card on it and then I'll see what I get from the card for that. And this is the house of flowers. Look at that. I know that that looks like a greenhouse and wasn't he, didn't he pass in a greenhouse or something or some adjacent, like a green, you know, where they're like, it was adjacent to the house, like a greenhouse room or, or some patio place that was off the house. Absolutely, there's synchronicities between the two of you. Absolutely. You may be picking up on his energy around you. You should try to channel that some more because I think that there's actually a feminine energy around there too. And maybe he has some feminine energy. I don't know much about Kurt Cobain. I'm more of an Ella Fitzgerald kind of person and Pink Martini. And um, But this is absolutely right for you. Yes, 
but you also are kind of outgrowing that. Like there's something bigger. There's somebody behind Kurt Cobain. That's what I want to say. That's like bigger than even him and you're channeling something great. So, okay, that was it. Thank you everybody who, um, who Venmoed and thank you for showing up. And I will be here next Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. You're gonna see this on IGTV and I have to, oh, I forgot. I haven't been able to get over to YouTube. But thank you, I love you. Have the most wonderful week and be of service. Pay it forward, pay it forward. It feels so good when you do that and you get so much in return. Love you, bye.